How are hey, you doing? I'm doing fine. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the first episode of, me of Metal Pizza face to face, something different. Yeah. We had and an opportunity to do this, so yeah. yeah, of course. And it's warm today. Yeah. I didn't expect this. Yeah. So I'm I'm like sweating like a pig if I can say that. <laughs> but you still need coffee even though it's hot. <laughs> And uh, actually, we were supposed to be in other places, but everything is closed. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, po Pori is a bit a weird place. Um, yeah. But yeah, let's talk about uh, Herteria because yeah. you are back after uh, a break. Yeah, yeah, after a big break, actually. Yeah, it's been a long time. I think we released our last album in 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but there's been a lot of happenings behind the scenes in uh, everyone's personal life yeah. and among the band and uh, we actually did uh, separated with our drummer and with that caused some delays for uh, this album and yeah but now we're on back on track yeah Good. do you have a new drummer now uh, nothing to announce yet okay. no 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 so you have some someone that come to play yeah something, something you are you something. are going to play live in december yeah we have 7th of December, yeah, yeah. in Pore, yeah. Meara Club. Yeah, and uh, now you release two singles from the upcoming album? Yeah, A Curse in Sleep is yeah. the album's name. Yeah. We haven't uh, released the release date yet, I think. Announced it, no, yeah, no. we haven't. Yeah. I'm not but announcing it that you need to follow us. Yeah, so. be sure to follow them on Facebook, yeah. Instagram and everywhere. But yeah. Uh, yeah, the Never to Return was uh, released on last Friday. Yeah, and it's a really good song. Hey, thank you, thank yeah. you. Yeah, we <laughs> we really put it effort to this album. It's yeah, we're expecting high results with it. So. Yeah, and then uh, you release uh, uh, Glass Coffin. Yeah, uh, Glass Coffin uh, was our at first. At the end of May. Yeah, thirty first. Yeah, end of May. It was end of May. Yeah, with the music video. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That, what, what, what should I tell you about it? Well, you can. Mm, do you have questions about it? Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of questions yeah, about yeah, well everything. If you, everything. Should, if you should, it first then. So I know that you cannot um, announce the the release date, yeah. but more or less, it's going to be this year or yeah, next year. This year. This okay. Year. It's going to be later in the fall. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be. And. Uh, what are the main differences uh, compared to the previous albums? <sighs> I think it's a more compact uh, album now. The previous album, Away in the Sun, was like a collaboration of uh, multiple, well, well, not collaboration, but uh, lots of uh, influences. We were still looking for our path and now we found it. it so built with uh, lots of technical guitar riffs and uh, melodics and now we added a lot of orchestrations to yeah, this, yeah. this time so it's it has a lot of elements yeah so it's a more mature yeah, album yeah. for the band yeah we're evolving yeah yeah as it should be yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, are you planning a tour with the band or well is it still uh, something that is unsure uh, well, we'd love to do tours and shows, but uh, because we're missing, uh, we're still a three-piece, so we can't uh, take every shows that we'd like to, so it's still a work in progress. So yeah. let's just uh, release this album first and try to solve everything behind the scenes yeah. in the so middle. Who played the drum in the, in the album? Uh, Mikko. Okay, yeah. so he, he helped you. Yeah, he, he wrote those and... Okay. And who is going to play on 7th of December? <laughs> I'm not announcing it yet. Oh, so there is something. <gasps> There's something, yeah. Okay, so we have to wait. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. We want to keep everyone on toes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, let's talk about your other band. Mm? Yeah. So you release uh, the album Camos was last March. Mm, yeah, yeah, we did. 
So we are talking about oh, that's the samples. Yeah. That's the samples. <laughs> because I just started to talk about yeah. the album, but uh, without mentioning the the band, so everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> so my other band. Yeah. That's the samples. Yeah. And yeah. also you change uh, the the singer now during yeah, the spring. Yeah, yeah, we did uh, in the album that got re uh, recorded was sing uh, Mikko Volta. Volta. Thank you. And uh, now we have our, re uh, we got to know this singer, Jani, uh, Jani, sorry, Jani Hakulinen. Uh, can't remember, by a friend actually, okay. who said that we should try to ask him to join and we actually did and we enjoyed him. And he's a great dude. Great talent, yeah. He fits the group perfectly. Yeah. I just check if everything works. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. yeah. Because the sun Bullshit. is uh, shining on uh, on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we released Kamos album, and after that we have this mini tour in Finland, or during the can't remember the dates. Uh, but now we have this had. On May, we had this European tour around Europe, 17 days, 15 shows, yeah. yeah. How was that? Pretty exhausting, but great experience. I haven't toured in uh, Europe before that much, so got to uh, see a lot of new things. Yeah. How was the reaction from the audience? It was more than we expected, yeah. Germans were, well, we've been in German before, and uh, they love us, for example. But every every venue was a surprise how many how many people are yeah. attended there. So it was a great experience. Yeah. So yeah. the the German uh, gigs are the one that uh, stay. For in for ex yeah, for example. But from that tour, a uh, lot of a lot of different shows. Belgium was amazing also, and Switzerland they, as a country it was surprise for me yeah. yeah have you been there never yeah I yet yeah if, if, if Finland is a lake city a lake country uh, Switzerland is a mountain country yeah so as an Italian you would love that yeah, yeah. 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 but um, talking uh, about the album yeah. how was the the making process of the album well I have to be honest that uh, uh, I joined the band when the almost uh, almost work uh, writing process was done in that sample, even though I added uh, some of my own uh, orchestration writings, such as uh, from our earlier EP, Where the Silent Rains, for example, from there, there's more of my writings. And uh, in the Alp Kamos album, there was just 12. I added some of my thoughts and gave my ideas, but it was almost done. Okay. Uh, so, but hope to write more in the future. That's our next plan. Yeah. And how it works with uh, release? I mean, um, you live in different cities, yeah. uh, so yeah, we're spread it around the Finland. How do you make it work? Uh, everyone. Uh, well, at first I was <sighs> kind of. Uh, thinking will it work how it will work but everyone's pretty much professionals because one lives in Tammisaare, one lives in Pori, other one lives in Nummela and so on so we're we're not rehearsing with, e with each other but um, when we're uh, almost having a show we have to meet up and uh, check the set list and you know the basic but everyone keeps their own ground at home, of course. So it's, it's nowadays you can't rehearse every week. Yeah. You, everyone has lots of do doings. Yeah. And how do you manage uh, your music life with your personal yeah. life, with your family, your work? Real life Batman of metal. <laughs> so sleepless nights, and you know, you know. But um, I don't want to uh, spend my I don't want to, how do you say that, um, I'm not uh, wasting my time with my family by playing music or uh, trying to make music because I still keep uh, think it's a hobby, it doesn't give me a living, so 
I value my time with my kids and family, so yeah. I do want to spend time. First them, then the bands yeah. and music. Yeah. So and it's, it's, it's a normal thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it has as to be. As, as yeah. As it, yeah, yeah, it should. It should be, yeah. 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 And I think that uh, most of you have children, yeah. kids, so of course everyone has its own family, yeah. its own work, so you try to yeah. manage. It's a bit like a puzzle, you have just yeah, to, exactly, to schedule exactly. everything. And especially those doers or longer show, well, tours actually, basically. Uh, it requires a lot from the home as well. It's not simple as that, uh, hey, I want to go to a show. So, thank you everyone, family and my family especially. Uh, they provided me that they, that I'm able to go. Yeah. So, it's not easy at home also either. So, especially now with the uh, three kids. My nurse. And yeah. Okay. How old uh, is the, the the oldest? Oldest is seven. Okay. Turns to eight. Seven. Oh, yeah. It, time, time flies. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It seems that it was like last day that was. Yeah. Birth. Yeah. Youngest is turning one year now. Okay. It's one year. Now. Yeah. Well, you asked me one year ago to join here first okay. time. Okay. So it ran. Yeah. We we talk uh, about uh, one year ago if you if you come as yeah. guest. Uh, but then, uh, yeah, I yeah, knew that I they had, I got a, a baby, so I was uh, not now. <laughs> not yeah, now. I had a lot of things going on there. Yeah, so I just wait. Then uh, you were uh, sick during the spring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I had was no like voice. Twelve weeks sick before oh. the European tour. I was telling you, twelve weeks sick. That's crazy. Yeah, I was. I attended uh, four, five times doc the doctors. They didn't notice and found anything. Just coughing my lungs out, you know. But I got healthier during the European tour. That's good. And now you are healthy. Yes, that's yes. The, that's the best thing. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But uh, let's see the questions that the people add oh my God. to you. None. For, for you. Let me find. Because I'm not prepared. Of course I'm not. <laughs> Here we are. So, Patrick. Uh, it fell. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sunshine. Is it possible for an electric eel to short uh, circuit? Also, could you play guitar with the electricity of electric eels at your gig? <laughs> what? Uh, if he pays. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. How, how was the question? Do you have it there? This first one. Is it possible? Eel. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what is <Yeah. laughs> oh, I did heard you correctly then. But yeah, you did. <laughs> I, I've never tried it, so maybe you should. Uh, maybe now. Now I, 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 I'm up for the challenge. You have this quest on. Yeah, yeah. To do. <laughs> I'm up, yeah. This quest, no question. Quest, the quest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm up for a challenge every time, so. Maybe I need to try that. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's but then there is the other question from uh, Yanni Bernay Mikkanen. Uh -huh. Why Jackson guitars? They're awesome. They're awesome. Uh, I'm endorsed by Jackson guitars now. I've been endorsed them by, let's see, five years? Five years now. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I used to play with Schecter's pretty much, but nowadays when I tried the Jackson 7 string that I'm playing with the SL7, uh, it's just um, it's uh, between Schecter and uh, Ibanez neck. It's more comfortable comfortable for me, so okay. I just love it, love those. So I I haven't uh, had any needs to change, and, yeah. and well, they look cool. That's true. Yeah. When did you start to play guitar? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that's a kind of funny question, but uh, I think I started playing in 2007. So I wasn't that young of a boy, like used to. Usually you start young, but I started pretty late, because my youth went in sports. Yeah, 
I actually had the same when I started playing bass in 2006. Yeah. Um, because before there was just sport. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I can relate. I wrecked my knee back then also, so I needed to find something to add, uh, fill the empty spaces for my calendar, so I picked guitar. But it's funny that uh, one of my friends that designed Earthier's lo first logo back in the day uh, asked me, how, how did a person that, well, he was surprised when I j asked, uh, told him that I'm playing a guitar in a band called Earthier and we need a logo and he was like, tell me, how did the most uh, non-musical person become a guitar player? Because I was so into sports back then. Play music pretty much all. Yeah. Just came from somewhere. It was a spark of moment, and here we are. Yeah, it was the the right decision. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It has give, given me a lot of yeah. experience, and uh, well, it's a kind of well, can you say, well, not a therapy therapy mode, but uh, you know, some kind of. Um, can escape from reality. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. When you get the crap the guitar and start playing, you don't have to stress everything yeah. around you. Basically. Yeah, it's kind of a mindful. Yeah, yeah, yeah relaxing to time, you yeah. know, so, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. And what was the first guitar that you picked your hand? Picked my guitar. Uh, yeah, the first guitar I bought was a, a Fender Squire. Can't remember the shape. Oh, what was it? It was, it was a normal Telecaster, but it was almost. It was a combo, like 70 euros, but with a uh, combo yeah, and a guitar. Yeah. I think that it's uh, for most of people, yeah. the combo is, yeah. when we talk about uh, guitar or bass, the combo is yeah. the more, uh, more easy, then uh, you find your, uh, your own uh, sound and uh, the, the, the instrument that yeah. is uh, more comfortable for you but at the beginning the combo is, yeah, is so the most so easy because you at the beginning you don't know if you are going to continue playing yeah, yeah exactly you don't know is it for you or not I, rem I remember when I started I my mental uh, because I was so in the sports I was so competitive uh, person I wanted I had a lot of friends that played guitar and I, every time I saw them playing I was like whoa, I want to do that, and then I practiced it, then I uh, managed to be better than this friend, then I turned to the next friend, he was better, I'm trying to learn that, and I, I remember I practiced like 11 hours a day back in that, because I couldn't do sports, uh, so because if you imagine I had that taekwondo like uh, 11 times a week, you know, a lot of hours, then poof, no Taekwondo anymore, so, okay. you, so you needed to do something. So in ta Taekwondo, you were, yeah, taekwondo you were doing uh, training uh, morning and evening? Yeah, Okay. Yeah, because I went to the high school with uh, the Urheilu Lukio, okay. uh, the sports high school, Yeah. back in the yeah. day, yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah, that's basic, basically if because I wrecked myself, I started to play guitar. So, yeah. Nice. And talking about metal music, hmm? how did you get into metal? Oh my god, I remember. <laughs> and I'm hitting in. Yeah, 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 you can hit. White. <laughs> my first experience was the uh, same person that got me into playing guitar, was uh, Bessie Halton, a singer of Torture. Okay. Isn't he, he a physiotherapist now? Yeah, yeah, you probably know him. I don't know him, but I know who is him, but yeah. I never talked about him. He was the guy that uh, told me that you need to start playing guitar. And he borrowed me a guitar for the first time. His father acoustic, I remember, if I recall. And from there on. And he played me, we went to the same school back then. And he started playing me the first song that I recall. Was Dimu Borg in Morning Thoughts that got me into this okay. metal and orchestration and melody, you know? And from there, it was straight downward. <laughs> you know? yeah. But yeah, it was. But I've always listened to me, uh, metal music, but 
from that moment I started really singing stuff pretty often, like okay. always. Yeah. What was the first uh, metal gigs that you attended? I think it was his shows in um, Annie's metal events, or uh, before that, Garm and Retaliatory okay. Measures, so those local bands here around Pori. I think it went uh, outside of Pori, actually. But uh, bigger festival uh, shows I went was what was the festival's name? There was a stadium or ice hockey hall that got Trivium to, uh, Slayer, uh, Mastodon, and Levia. Okay. Yeah. Back in the days, there were good shows. Yeah. Now try to get them everyone uh, in the same place. Talking about the metal scene in Finland now or in Pori, how do you think the, the scene has changed in the years? Well, it, ha it has gotten uh, quieter, you know. Uh, the, um, for example, when the bar got it closed, mm -hmm. there wasn't money and want to. There wasn't many places where they could have made it so. Now they're in, I think Meara started it again. Yeah. Which is great. A few years ago. Yeah. yeah. And now Montu is opening. Mon Montu is open already. Yeah. So some f something is happening. But yeah, yeah. still, I, I feel like Pori is a weird city in a, in a way that uh, when it's hardcore gig, there is full of people. Mm. Or where there are all certain uh, bands from Pori, then everybody goes because the friend is playing. Yeah. But otherwise, uh, there are not many people coming to the gigs, and but on Facebook people always complain that there are not gigs. But when there are gigs, they are not coming. So it's weird. It's it's really something that I don't understand. Can yeah. you explain this? I, I, I honestly don't know why why it is like that. Just, well, for personally, I know why I'm not able to go <laughs> for shows. But still, yeah, I remember when I uh, started playing. There were a lot of people going to shows in Pori. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not sure. Is it the prices? No, it can't be. I don't no, know. Because the prices is more or less the yeah, same. Same. So exactly. It's not, I don't it's not expensive. No. Or, so. or just. But maybe the people don't know. Even if uh, there is, uh, you know, on Facebook, uh, you can find the announcement everywhere. But still, people, I don't know. Maybe don't they know. don't see it, or maybe they just uh, want bigger bands. Yeah, but, but no bigger bands, then it's not that easy. I know, and, and here's no venues for those. Yeah. It's only festivals. Yeah. yeah. And mon now it's. Meara is doing those monomassives as well. Yeah. So there is a so they are se September a yeah, one day festival in Annis. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Yeah. Hopefully, but not sure did uh, COVID left some marks on that terms? It may no, be. I no idea. But I, I don't know, you know, when I moved to Finland in uh, 2013, and there were still those rock clubs. Yeah. And then all over Finland, not just in Pori, they start to shut down. And it's weird. And I remember that when I moved, there was still music on TV. So music videos were still going, but at the time it starts to rise the rap, rap scene. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Maybe the younger people then they grew up with listening to rap, yeah. and uh, the metal that was so big in Finland got a bit. Yeah. I, d I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, everyone keeps telling me everywhere that Finland is a metal country, but still it doesn't se seems like. Yeah. Um, look like it, but I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, of course there are a lot of metalettes around Finland, but not maybe not as much as uh, it used to be. I, yeah. don't, know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Hard to say. It's it's a bit weird. But what are you listening now? Are you listening to metal or other kind of music? Uh, well, I'm. Kind of an all eater, but um, 
I do listen to metal. Some it's just thinking. I'm looking uh, mostly nowadays, or for a long time, I've been listening to lots of symphonic death metals, for example, because I've been trying to learn and teach myself for those writing process for symphonic material, so trying to get those. Yeah. But I, I do listen to a lot of, depends on the day. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you have a favorite band and a favorite album? It's a hard question. I know, yes, I know, I know. You can't pick one. So yeah. pick few. <laughs> few. Well, um, my hu hugest impact has been Jeff Loomis, Zero or Your Face, the instrumental album. That was the album that got me to seven string guitars. Okay. For example, and after that, Jeff Loomis and Nevermore. But I've always been a pan huge Pantera fan. And after that came Silosis, Just Middleton, a lot of, well, Black Dahlia murders, everything, Bright Nights, everyone had this huge. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any kind of uh, metal that uh, you don't uh, like? Well, I, <laughs> I bet there is, but I haven't uh, looked for them. Okay. <laughs> so I haven't run into them. I was can't remember any moments that I was like, uh, what is this? <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. 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 But now let's get to the random topic. And since you are here, we are face to face. I don't need to pick. You are going to pick Pick the first one. Oh, shit. What's that? Best moments. So if you think about uh, your life, what are those moments that uh, that are so so big my in biggest, general? Yeah. My biggest moments are yeah. becoming a father. That, yeah. That's my biggest. But uh, yeah, that's that's that has to be my biggest moment. Then every every kid has especially. Young. But uh, if I need to think in the music scene, I think uh, I've been so lucky in the past that I've been able to have these opportunities to join different bands and be a live member and others and uh, have these experience from festivals and I think um, one of my to-do lists uh, had been to attend the 70,000 tons of metal cruise back in the days so I was like that it's my birthday weekend every year so I need to go there somehow then I managed to get to play there. Yeah. That was one of those yes, moments. Yeah. 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 I think so. How was to play there? It was amazing. It was amazing and uh, I haven't been in Finland's uh, Nordic metal cruises. I can I don't have anything to compare it to. Yeah. But if if I need to pick a festival that I want to go attend as a paying customer, it would be that. Yeah. Five days a like four days Five nights, yeah. It was, it was amazing. Talking about your kids, hmm? are they listening to metal? No, 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 not no, yet. No, I tried to uh, lullaby my uh, firstborn uh, with necrobuggists <laughs> back in the days, but it didn't work out that well. So, <laughs> but did you try with Evisaurus maybe? Yeah, but uh, well, that's that that might go now, but. Back in the day, my music didn't allow me to play heavy metal. <laughs> so, but yeah, nowadays heavy metal is playing on TV or somewhere, YouTube. But they don't, they don't. Not yet, not yet. I'm trying. Learning process is still going. The teaching yeah. process. Yeah. Are they watching you when you play guitar? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. But like I said earlier, that I'm don't. I want to spend my time with the kids uh, so I haven't played with them or uh, yeah. because uh, d for example during the summer we have been outdoor all, yeah, all the time yeah, it so it makes sense yeah so I haven't I haven't played that much except during nights yeah when they yeah. sleep yeah but let's take another oh. pick another one movies 
movies. Oh so, are you are you a movies person? Yes. Yeah. What kind of movies do you well, like? To uh, watch? Well, nowadays I don't have time for movies, but I used to look lots of like lots of back in the day when there were film towns. I yeah. would use the rent every day a movie from there. A lot of sense. 90s, 80s, 90s action horror films, you know. Okay. I, lo I know a lot of those. Nowadays, they have, I think, the. I don't know what do I look at. Uh, do I watch any shows? No. Netflix? No. Not that much. Yeah, I there don't is have no it. time. Uh, no, no. If I do s watch something, I just play, put something on and look at it. But there's no. Uh, it's. There's no meaning to me that anymore, like it used to. That I need to see every movie. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. What's your favorite movie? Oh. I've never thought of it. Sure, it's not Titanic, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's a hard question. My mind is blank. Blank. What is my favorite movie? Or one of those that uh, you remember and you <laughs> like to watch. What movie more? I remember? Movie that you remember? <laughs> Emoji. <laughs> That's a movie I remember. We looked it like hundred times with my kid. Like <laughs> that's a movie I remember. So but <laughs> yeah. It's not your favorite. No, no, no. Maybe one day. No, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Long process. But yeah, that's that's what kind of uh, horror movie do you like? Um, well, uh, no, I haven't. Uh, well, the ones that try to get you scared, but um, I haven't seen these modern horror films that much because I stopped watching don't, them. Don't watch them; yeah, they are I, boring. I stopped watching them back back in the days. Lots of hell. Well, you can't find Hellraiser anywhere anymore, but from forward you know I, I looked a lot of those but, uh, there wasn't any uh, favorite ones but from the 80s to 90s pretty mm -hmm. much everything from Friday to night you know I grew up, grew up watching uh, horror movies hmm? because my mom is a big horror movies fan so I just I think that the first horror movie that I watched, I was four years old, so it was always a big uh, thing. I remember when uh, they show it for, for the so first time yeah, on TV. It was a carnival time, <laughs> and we went home after after the, the carnival day around the city, and we watched the movie. And yeah, a bit scary it was uh, as a as a kid, uh, but. Yeah, 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 it's, it's it still has. something. I watch also the new version. It's no, no, it's no, no, not no. bad, but it uh, there is something missing. The eighties, nineties horror movies they were better. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think the so, same. I think the same. Yeah, now it's the, what they are doing. You didn't watch um, none of no. them, but I don't know. I don't know. There is something missing. Yeah, I tried to look them. I think the latest horror movies now from nowadays was uh, this whole series of Saw movies and uh, that's some few but I think they're all the same just a massacre or something yeah, yeah. You know, it's there's nothing to do with horror anymore it's True. just just slaughtering you know it's not the same as it used to be that yeah. much of horror yeah that's true I'm just mm. putting this away mm. and uh, uh, let's uh, no, we don't go there. We go with the pizza. Do you like pizza? Oh, of course I do. Love. It. Yes, I'm a huge food lover. Anyway, yeah, I, so. I, I, I know. I've, I have a few questions after, <laughs> <laughs> after the pizza question. Okay. I have a few more questions yeah. for you. Um, what's your favorite pizza? <sighs> it's a holy grail. Of tra uh, I'm still looking for it. It's like a holy grail for me because I try to experiment a lot of variation of pizzas you know but it has to have blue cheese it has to have meat not so much well it doesn't matter 
what meat basically for me and because I eat a lot so sometimes not always sometimes but yeah I d actually tried those um, I tried to add three pizzas on top of each other last year and rolled it as a um, pizza roll and put it hamburger sticks on it and cut it slices and ate the whole thing by one seed and yeah but it was a why was stick. that the kebab uh, on the pizza yeah. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> the royal <UK>. kebab bun. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Uh, well, I tried. I first time I started adding my own ing ingredients to pizzas was like I bought a pizza and put the hamburgers in it, and then after that I thought, huh, roll kebab on the top of it. So yeah. And you Just are uh, taking the video of all of your uh, experiment. Uh, yeah. So you can find on the TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've had a lot of feedbacks of those also. Is is that good feedback? Or <laughs> it depends. Yeah, my but yeah, basically, how can I do that and so on. But yeah, uh, yeah but I can't remember. I I started eating a lot. Uh, what was the year? 2016, 17? 17, I think. I started, uh, I was working in an old work place and everyone else was trying to get shaping during summer for, uh, for the summer and I was thinking like I've always practiced uh, weight class sports so why won't I try to increase my weight so I did and I think that's one of the reasons why my capacity of eating is so huge at least I think so yeah, yeah. I also eat a lot but I'm short <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you can see that I eat <laughs> <laughs> but you know you never know if something happened there is no food yeah exactly. so we have some <laughs> some <laughs> no, exactly you have to eat when you have food there. yeah and until i was i'm you know i like to say that until the doctor tell me that i cannot eat certain thing then i'm going to eat those enjoy those of course not so much i'm not uh, overdoing <laughs> but <laughs> what are you uh, Okay. I, I love food. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's important to eat. I, this one was okay, it was not it's not the best. <laughs> but it was it was it was good. Anyway, and um, yeah, talking about uh, pizza again because uh, now yeah. I went to the toast. <laughs> um, where do you eat the best pizza if if it happened? At home, <laughs> but but uh, where have I ordered the best pizza? I think Italia had one of the best. I actually ordered one uh, pizza in Miami that was uh, that had won the third place of some kind of world title, but I was like, no, no, <laughs> that so was it's not too good. fine for me. So. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think homemade for now. But I, I, I enjoy lots of pizzas. I, I can recall uh, bad pizzas more easily, easier. Because like like I said, I'm an all-rounder eater. So. Okay, so where was the worst? I can say a lot of those, but <laughs> depends if they burnt them or... Um, I think it's uh, one of those was can't remember the place in Oulu or something. Okay. Yeah, can't remember the place, but I Oulu, Oulu? Yeah, but there is this question, the most important question now, because uh, the world is divided in two. I know. Pineapple on pizza and not pineapple on pizza. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I eat it and I don't eat it, depends, but if my holy grail pizza is gonna have pineapple, it will have a pineapple, so let's put it that way. Yeah. So, for you, pineapple belongs to pizza? Yeah, yeah, it okay. does, it does. I'm not judging you, maybe a bit, but not yeah, much. Yeah, but it depends, but yeah. usually it doesn't, uh, usually my pizza is full of meat, so <laughs> that's why I can't say it's always on. 
but I have this question about blue cheese because uh, you have this obsession with blue cheese. It's the best. <laughs> I don't like blue cheese, but uh, you put blue cheese everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. everywhere. You put with the mignon, yeah. the, this uh, Eastern, m yeah, Eastern chocolate, chocolate egg, egg uh, full from father fa from here in Finland. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> And then you put on, uh, there was the uh, uh, Peppa Pig uh, yeah, uh, cookie. cookie and you put on that. Yeah. Uh, Last year I tried that uh, Easter, a Finnish traditional Eastern dessert, Mammy, yeah. if you saw that. And you put, and you put that? I put there uh, blue cheese and some vanilla cream on top. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I, now I remember. Does it work with everything? Of course it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah. So more blue cheese for everyone. Yes, not you for me. You always have to have blue cheese. Yes. And what's the best blue cheese? Aura. 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 There's no other one. <laughs> Aura is. Is the is the one. Yeah, it is the one. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, did you eat also the the blue cheese with your wife uh, me meringue? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We made those experience experiment. Marrying is that we added blue cheese in it. Yes. Is oh. is your uh, wife thinking to <laughs> sell the no. those? <laughs> no, I would. She won't. What 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 she think about this obsession with blue cheese? <laughs> Walking to another way. <laughs> Pretty much every time. <laughs> Well, for example, when I made those three pizza layers, she just sent me a message and, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, shit, <laughs> got to go. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. I was thinking what she thinks, and she, she, she is uh, the, the queen of uh, meringue. Yeah, <laughs> so <she is. laughs> It's yeah. interesting. <laughs> yeah, like, she has this Laura's meringue type, and I was thinking of making Laura's meringue in hell <laughs> adding some blue cheese or chilies or something but never done that well yet. with chili it oh that that will work oh i i remember i saw the video of uh, what's the guy the finnish guy that hit a lot the hit a yes, lot the, 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 yeah is isn't he a physiotherapist yes also? everybody w like me <laughs> he's my idol he's my idol so sometimes i watch the video and he also did the, the meringue. Yeah, it was ours. Yeah. Meringues, yeah. yeah. We went there yeah. to. The, uh, well, we dropped him a lot <laughs> of meringues back then. Yeah. My idol. Yeah. And I, I could eat a lot of meringue because I, I, I love them. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I almost could uh, join him in uh, eating that. Have you tried any eating contest? Competition? No, never. Oh. <laughs> I've tried once. How how was? I won it. It was okay. a cake eating contest here in Puuvilla. It was uh, by the Nana Dream Cake Coffee okay. that was in the middle of Puuvilla in uh, 2020. Yeah, 20 or 22. What 20. did you What did you win? Ah, uh, one year of cake and coffees from the coffee, but then it got uh, <laughs> stopped. No, <laughs> never a it joy. It wasn't my. It wasn't my reason, but yeah, but it was like uh, five minutes as much as co uh, cake you can eat. How much was it? Like eight and a half piece of these big coffee cakes, you know, slices. Okay. There was four contests and it was like, uh, not sure how they picked it, but they put it some questionnaire on the Facebook and I just applied and I had this kind of list to do that I have tried in my life so they picked me okay. so <laughs> where, where uh, only men trying or no, also no. ladies uh, two ladies and two, uh, me and uh, some other men okay yeah. there was this one lady sitting next to me that she was also a tiny one a, a small one I was like she's eating here and well okay i was like but everyone mm, there they had this speech from uh, everyone 
con every contest they were attending and when they started to read her resume she had been eating con a cake contest around the world I was like this one <laughs> this one's really <laughs> so yeah you never judge by the cover you know no. sometimes you in those uh, eating contests the smallest yeah are the the, the ones that you have to watch out yeah exactly yeah <laughs> because they but uh, you know i saw some that they just uh, put the food uh, but i don't are they eating for real or just they I don't know. throw up after i don't know well i did have you, to did admit you, did you throw up yeah i have to admit that it came pretty shock uh, it, it came as a pretty shock to me that the sugar just hit me, struck me in Fouville. I was like, what happens now? Yeah, it was kind of experience. Yeah. I've had these uh, meat sweats after eating a lot of meat, but never with sugar. But now I know my limits. Now, you know. <laughs> now I know. Fun hobby. Yeah, fun but dangerous. No. 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 Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. 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 Some, some point. Yeah. yeah. But now let's go to the question. Oh. Let's see what was the question. Oh. So the question that uh, the previous guest left is: um, Are you happy with the life you have? Am I happy? Yeah. Yes, I am. Okay. I am. I am ha very happy with my life. Yeah. That's great. It is. Now it's your turn to leave a question. <sighs> Can I ask something that I already been asked? Or uh, well, I don't know what no, happened. You, so. ca you can ask uh, whatever come in your mind. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. It's hard, hard, hard thing to do. Yeah. But it can be anything. Yeah. It can be about the blue cheese. <laughs> Why is Finland? Why is everyone keep telling us that Finland is a summer city? This is summer city, that is summer city, but still Finland is a winter city. Uh, Finland is a winter country. I keep kept asked around Europe that what is the summer city of Finland? I was, so everyone keeps telling Turku and Pori, and, uh, but then someone told me that. But isn't Finland a winter city? Everyone keep writing winter songs about Finland and blah blah blah. But still, every Finnish keeps telling us that it's a summer city and summer that, summer this. But I don't know. Maybe that. Yeah. Why? 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 <laughs> Tell me. Tell us why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, we are at the end of this episode of uh, Metal Pizza. Thank you okay. for being my guest. Uh, it was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. And I uh, hope everybody enjoy this uh, this chat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this uh, this uh, talking about uh, blue cheese. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and metal and pizza also. Yeah. <laughs> and would you like to say something to people that are uh, watching or listening this? Thank you for watching. Follow me Metal Pizza and go check our new channels and look for the new updates yeah. from our social media and when the album come out uh, be sure to buy it yeah if there is a physical copy that's available the plan. that's the plan. okay yeah. thank you thank you